Well, my green screen uh, software sort of screwed up not only the color, but the audio. I don't even know how that happened. So we're going to reshoot the entire review right now. So this is the Marvel Legends Namor. He is the King of Atlantis, and he is a Walgreens exclusive. Now, we may not have been able to shoot him in his natural habitat, but he did happen to stumble upon Baron Zemo and Hydra agents, I don't know, stealing garbage or whatnot, and he put a stop to that. So, let's get a look at the figure. I absolutely love this face sculpt for Namor. Like, when I think of the comic book character and how he looks, you know, from panel to panel and whatnot, this is how I envision it, and it translated very well to action figure form. Love what they did with the eyebrows, the high arch on them, and he looks like a really mean, stern leader. And he could also qualify as a villain. I mean, damn, them some Vegeta-looking eyebrows. His hair looks really cool and awesome. It's kind of got like the Wolverine thing, where it's like it's swooshing back into like points or horns or whatnot. But, you know, if you're swimming around and flying and whatnot, it's, your hair is probably going to do that. And he's rocking some Vulcan ears. I'm guessing the Atlanteans in the Marvel Universe kind of have the elfish look to their ears. I don't know if that's just exclusive to Namor, but hey, whatever gets you the ladies. He's got a high collar on his uniform. I think that looks really cool. It almost looks like it could have been a hood, but nah, the high collar looks really awesome. He's got an open chest uniform, and you know something? If I was that ripped, I would show it off as well. His uh, fish scaling kind of trims down to his uh, lower thigh, starts up at the upper collar, and it looks really freaking awesome. I love the way the colors look. It's, it's weird. In certain lightings, it looks more green, but here it has like a bluish teal look. It was really interesting. He's got big, huge, bulky shoulders, which I'm going to get into those in a minute. He's got fairly ripped arms. He's got big gold wristbands or gauntlets, or wrist guards, whatever you want to call them. His belt has a trident symbol, and I think it looks pretty awesome. Wraps all the way around. And he's got more fish scaling on the back here. He's got a fish scaled booty. Who does he think he is, Little Mermaid? And he has wingtips on his feet. I don't really know where he got these from, but or if they're just a part of his feet, because I've seen pictures of him barefoot and stuff like that. In fact, one of his older Marvel Legends figures was barefoot, and he had the wingtips, so it just must be something Atlanteans have, or at least the King of Atlantis would have. Now, the articulation on here, I love it, except for in the shoulders. His head can go all the way back, go all the way down, can rotate left and right, it can go 360. He does have an ab crunch, rotates at the waist, his shoulders rotate all the way around, they go in and out. My problem with him is that the shoulders seem to be way too bulky for the chest piece and for what's going on over here. And it kind of looks like it's suffocating the joint in there. I mean, and it's a, it's a real problem because it's harder to move and it's like scuffing the paint and the plastic in his left armpit. Hope he's wearing some strong deodorant. And it's doing the same thing on the upper shoulder. So that's just not good. He does have an upper bicep rotation. He has a double bend in the elbow. Rotates at the wrist. And it bends in and out. His legs can go out this far to the side that far. So no full splits. Rotates at the upper hip. He has a double bend in the knee. He can rotate at the boot. And his foot can go all the way forward, can go all the way back, doesn't hinder the wingtips at all. And he has the world famous Marvel Legends ankle pivot. And the Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends Namor comes with this awesome, badass trident. I guess it's more of a trident staff. Now you have seen this accessory before because it did come with the Marvel Legends Odin slash King Thor Build-A-Figure from last year, I think it was, 2015. It might have been late 2014 when that came out, or when that wave dropped, but I picked them up in 2015, so whatever. Now, this one didn't have a whole lot of detailing to it. It was just kind of like a solid bronze piece, whereas this one... Pardon me, Your Majesty. Just There you go. Stand there. Look fabulous. 
Whereas this one here has loads of detailing and the paint really brings out everything that's great about it. So it has a much lighter gold paint job. Three, two, one. It has a light gold paint job, looks really cool. And it's got some green highlighting in specific areas like up here at the top, right here where the handle is, and kind of where like this hammer piece is, or, you know, where you hit somebody if you can't hit them with the front of it. Uh, this one is painted with that metallic green. Looks really awesome. The top of the staff, this looks like a white granite or like an, a near white kind of silver. It's just, it's really interesting, but it has that metallic texture to it the same as this. It just looks really awesome. And if they were going to reuse an accessory, I think this was the perfect figure to reuse it for. In fact, this looks like it was made for him rather than Odin. Who's got two thumbs, but one of them is stuck to his left hand? This guy! Anyway, Namor comes with two sets of hands. His right hand, semi-open, it allows him to grip the trident. And his left hand, it's got like a, a very small piece of plastic connecting his thumb to his index finger. It's really weird. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I thought it was supposed to be exactly like the right hand, but maybe it's like this so he can grip an accessory like a sword or something. I don't know. In order to remove the hands, just grab the forearm, pull the hand out, pop in his alt hands. That one didn't want to leave. But you have been evicted from the wrist. It's a literal wrist rocket. And he's got his mummy hands. What the hell's wrong with me? Actually, no. These are more like flying slash swimming hands. Or if he's going to do like an open Ric Flair chop to somebody. Example. Woo! That looked like it hurt. These look really awesome. And... Hey, girlfriend. <laughs> or swish. The hell's wrong with me? I'm just having fun with this now. I don't care. Anyhow. So yeah, they're open like this. They look really cool. They got the same hinge as the uh, regular hands. High five, Namor. We got through this. And yeah, like I said, for some reason in certain types of lighting, the fish scales just look more green than they do that kind of tealish blue color. But overall, I absolutely love this Namor figure. I think for Hasbro bringing back a character that we haven't seen a Marvel Legends of in a very long time, they absolutely nailed this one. Kind of sucky that it's a Walgreens exclusive, but he's really easy to get a hold of right now. He retails for about $19.99. Online, you'll probably find him for a little bit more, but trust me, guys, this Marvel Legends name war is worth it. He's the king of Atlantis, and he'll be the king of your Marvel Legends collection. I'm Chase from Burnout, Inc. I'm that guy with the gloves. A little fist bump. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a marvelous Monday. And I'll see you next time.